known as Ponche and Corche. This celebrated ceremonial outfit is the prized possession of Mijo women. In Mijo dialect, Puan refers to cloth and Che means decoration. Together, they stand for a decorated cloth. Mijo weavers have from earlier times produced Puans with variations based on the wearer's gender, need and social status. Homespun cotton yarn, indigenous tools and natural dyes come together to prepare a puan in a traditional loin loom called the puan bu. In earlier times, it was only the Mijo's chief's wife who wore the puan che, along with the corche or the blouse. The skirt is woven in three pieces and then sewn together. Two dominating red stripes are placed at the center. A white stripe is embossed with a motif. Next to the red stripe, there is a bright green colored strip separated by thin yellow lines on either side. The black stripes are the central piece. On the two sides are stripes woven with red, green, yellow, blue and white threads. The Puan Che is an elaborate version of the Puan Lai Sen, which has red stripes at the center. This was the most distinguished cloth among the Lusei people in the pre-colonial period. With intricate designs and embroideries, the Puan Lai Sen became the Puan Che. The Kor Che is the decorated blouse that is paired with the Puan Che. It is a white full-sleeved blouse, designed with similar motifs that are present in the puanche, in the middle and the front. It is a more intricate version of the Kormol, a blouse earlier worn by the Lusei women. This pair of traditional Lusei costumes is the finest representation of the Mijo weaving tradition. The style of wearing and draping along with the illustrated patterns of this attire is changing with time. It is worn along with a headdress called Vakiriya, especially during festivals and marriage ceremonies.